Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Miss Emily Paints and today we're going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial using the Nikita Dragon by Morphe Palette. Okay ladies, so the first color I'm going to be going in with is called Sakura. Sakura, I don't know how to pronounce it, bitch, but it's this shade right here. And excuse my Cheeto fingers, by the way. <laughs> but we're going to be using that pink shade. And we're going to be applying it all over our crease. I have already applied a little bit because I did not set my concealer and I did not want it to start creasing. So I did apply a little bit already just so that it sets it a little. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this fluffy brush and we're just going to be blending in circular motions all over our crease. And it's okay to go a little bit up because we're going to be using this as our transition shade which means it's a shade we're going to use basically to help us blend every other color on our lid. <laughs> so today I didn't really want to do like a story time. I kind of just wanted to like hang out with you guys and do our makeup, you know, for for Valentine's Day. I thought it would be cool to make like a tutorial for you so that you guys can follow along if you guys are going to be doing anything, you know, with your mans um, or with your girl, you know, you never know. <laughs> you do you, whatever you like. <laughs> Um, this palette, just so you know, it's very powdery. So you guys can see right here, look at all that, like, fallout. So, be careful with that. <laughs> so let's keep blending, you guys. I'm just adding some more product because I want it to be a little bit brighter. It's barely noticeable on camera, I think, because of the brightness and stuff. But it'll get brighter right now with the next shade of pink that we're going to be using. So, also you guys, my spongy, this one from Miss Emily Paints Cosmetics, it launches tomorrow. Yes, so get yours. This is only $3, but I can guarantee it's worth it. This sponge is worth it. This is what I use to apply my foundation. So, it, it's so smooth. If you guys want to see a video of the application and how it works, follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram account, and you guys can see how I used it and how I applied it, how to wet it, how to make it damp. You guys, it gives you like a nice airbrush finish. Ignore this little hair that just fell on me from the brush. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, it leaves your makeup looking airbrushed. And that's what I loved about it. And I found this vendor and I was like, get me some of those because I need my girls to have the best products that they can get their hands on. So let's go with the next shade. Oh, by the way, the brush that I'm using for the first shade is called JH34. It's from the Jaclyn Hill Collection. Those are personally my favorite brushes. Like, they're so good when it comes to blending. And now I'm taking another JH brush, and this is number 33. And I'm going in with the shade Nikita, which is this one, this dark pink right here. So I'm going to take some of that and be careful, like I said, because these are very powdery. So I keep these, this little can right here, this little basket that was given to me from KJ Lashes on Easter and I use it for the powder just to like tap in there because a lot of people will tell you tap off the excess powder but they won't tell you that that shit goes all over the place like they won't tell you that it goes on the floor like on the on your rug if you have a rug or if you have carpet because we have carpet like it will get all over the place you guys and I personally hate it so I don't want you guys to go through the same thing so yeah, get yourself one of those little buckets and just tap it in there and it'll land just in there and you won't make a mess on your vanity either. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be taking this darker pink and we're going to be applying it only on our crease. Do not go above that and just tap. That, that's what I like to do when I'm applying a shade so that it doesn't go everywhere, like in areas that I don't want it to go on. So I just tap where I want the, the makeup to be and tap until you see that there, your brush has like no more product. Once you notice that it has no more product, then you just start blending in little circles. And it's okay if you go a little bit above the crease just so that it blends with the first color you used. Just not too much. And it's okay, of course, if it goes on the lid because we're going to be doing something else there and it's going to cover it up. But yeah, you guys, just keep blending, you know, side to side, little circles. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side really quick. And we're going to be adding more. We're going to be adding more just to like make it a little bit darker. But this is like the simplest, simplest Valentine's Day makeup you could freaking possibly use. So. 
so yeah girl you should get this makeup done for your Valentine's Day I can guarantee you it's gonna look cute and the good thing about these pinks is that they match any skin any skin tone they match and the good thing also is that if you use like a good concealer like if you're dark like if you're dark skin it'll be easier if you use like like a urban decay concealer this is the one that i use it makes the colors look so much brighter and it looks so nice and now you guys hold on i'm taking the other brush the one i used first and i'm gonna be blending those two shades together because we don't want it to look like it's just on there my hair keeps getting in the way okay and ignore that mess in the back you guys it's just that i have to clean right now because that's that's where i'm teaching my students for now like how to do like um makeup because i do do makeup classes one-on-one -on -one. so if you guys want to do like virtual learning like let me know and i will tell you guys the price and we'll talk about when my schedule is free so we can set up a date for you okay so now once that is blended i'm gonna go back in with the dark pink and i'm gonna put some more also you guys like my lids are burning so bad as i'm doing this you guys are probably like why are you doing it then well this is the cost of beauty <laughs> my eyelids feel like they're on fire because yesterday i did a an eyeshadow look with glitter girl i did an eyeshadow look with glitter and you have to use like glue well i use duo glue which is originally for eyelashes but it works for when you use glitter so when i tell you that my eyes are burning so bad today like so so bad because glitter is painful you guys like you see all these makeup artists using glitter and doing all these crazy like pretty looks but trust me like it comes with the cost like glitter hurts like it hurts so bad and it's so uncomfortable and that's why when i tell like my clients like whenever they're like oh i want something with glitter like i'm honest with them and just up front and i tell them like hey like if you if you get some glitter like i'll do it for you like i'll do whatever my client wants me to do but i do tell you and give you a warning glitter is not as comfortable as it seems on social media i tell them like glitter is very uncomfortable and it's painful to remove and it's hard to remove like you have to use like those good good wipes you know but yeah you guys um before i continue like i'm just packing on some more of that pink just to make it a little bit more intense and also so you guys can notice it a little bit more on the screen because i can see that it's way too bright for you guys to be able to see it that good so now i'm going back in with the other brush and i'm not grabbing any product i'm just gonna be blending it so that they blend together but yeah like i was saying glitter is like painful like oh, you guys like the next day it feels like your eyelids are on fire i'm not even kidding it's horrible so i'm debating if i should go in with the darker color because this is actually looking really good like really good so i'm gonna be doing the bottom of my eye really quick and i'm gonna go back in with that light shade oh, i hate doing this especially when we make those like ugly ass faces like mm. <laughs> I hate doing the bottom of my eye because of that. You gotta be careful because this is pink and it makes a mess. You guys, I wanna do a closet like declutter video because since like we're gonna be going away, we're gonna be moving, I don't want to keep all the clothes that I have there because a lot of that clothes does not fit anymore. Like a lot of that clothes, because I used to be a size small. So I used to be a size small in dresses and shirts and everything, but girl, I gained a little bit of weight. Like at first I was going to the gym and I gained muscle and then I gained weight <laughs> because I stopped going to the gym. Um, so a lot of my clothes is like a size small and girl, it doesn't fit no more. Like it doesn't fit anymore, so I'm trying to like get rid of it and I downloaded like this app called Poshmark. And... I'm gonna be selling it on there like very very cheap it's some of the clothes is new by the way some of this clothes is new some of it's even from Fashion Nova and it's new so yeah like stay tuned for that I'm gonna be posting it possibly next week but I'm gonna declutter my closet so you guys can see all the clothes that doesn't fit me anymore and there's also some clothes that I don't really like anymore because I bought some new ones and before like 
I didn't have, oh, also I'm going back in with the darker shade at the bottom after I applied the light shade. So I was saying, I do want to like get rid of like a lot of this clothes because none of this like clothes like matches my style now. Like before, I used to dress up the way my mom used to dress up. So when I used to live with my mom, like my mom was on top of like all the fashion trends. Like my mom's one of those moms that looks young. So she will follow all those like like trendy things and and my mom was like my i guess like like my inspiration like my mom would inspire me to like wear that clothes so back then i was completely different like i was so different i used to like follow every single thing that my mom would wear because i mean who else was i gonna look up to so i eventually started realizing that you know that wasn't even like my style at all i just started realizing that my color patterns are burgundy, black, like dark shades, and also neutrals. So I was like, yeah, no, this isn't working for me anymore. So your girl has to get rid of a bunch of clothes because all of that just, it's not my thing anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with this like light pink, what is it called? Estrogen? Estrogen. This one right here. Wait, let me point it with this. Right here. Speaking of estrogen, you guys, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks, especially having adenomyosis and endometriosis. <sighs> but let's not talk about that. So now I'm going to be applying this shade really quick onto my lid. And this is a shimmery shade. So it's going to like, you know what? This is barely even applying anything. I'm just going to use my finger. Also, that's like a big ass tip. If you ever want to apply any glitter shades, Use your finger because it will grab the most product, like way more than a brush. So I'm doing this. And look at that pretty shimmer. And we're just going to apply this over the dark pink. Do not go above your crease. This is a very nice, like not natural, not natural look. But it's like a very like girly, a girly like natural glam, I guess. Because... I don't, I didn't want to go like too dramatic and do like a whole cut crease and everything. But yeah, so I was telling you guys like I do want to get rid of all that clothes in my closet. Like all of it. So I'm going to do a closet declutter. Subscribe to me if you haven't because I want you guys to see that video. Like I want you guys to see me get rid of all of that stuff. Damn, there we go. Look at that all glittery and stuff. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for my eyes. Let me just find something to clean my finger with because I hate... I, I love having these little rags here. <laughs> I hate having, like, my finger full of, like, glitter because then I touch my, like, my face or something and it messes up, like, my whole look or something, you know? But, yeah. Next, before I do anything else, I'm going to do my lipstick because your girl here is feeling like her lips are getting, like, weird. So I'm going to be using another Nikita product and this is this like pinkish color. What is it called? This is Dragon Class Matte Liquid Lip. But what is it called? Is that what it's called? I guess that's what it's called. But this is from Dragon Beauty and they actually sent this over to me. Uh, Morphe did. So I'm like super excited. I'm not going to be applying any lip liner. I know. I know. <laughs> but I'm going to be using this shade. How many of you guys here have your lips done? Comment below. I'm debating if I should do anything to myself because I see everybody doing it. And I mean, I don't want to do it because everybody's doing it, you know, but... Okay, so now that that's on, I'm just going to let it dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to do my eyes. But I'm debating, you guys, if I should, like, get, like, a BBL and get my lips done. I mean, I don't feel like my body is bad, like, at all, and I'm not, like, insecure about it. Ignore that. <laughs> I don't feel like my body is bad at all, and I don't feel insecure about it or anything, but I, I am kind of curious, like, since I see, like, all these girls doing it, I'm kind of curious, like, what I would look like, you know? And not only that, but because I have endo and adeno, like, I can't, I can't really work out much. By the way, the this is the volume vol <laughs> I can't see it. Voluminous Lash Paradise by who I forgot. Who's this from? Hold on, hold on. Who is this 
sperm. Is this Maybelline? I think it's Maybelline. I don't know. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm very curious, like since I see everybody doing it and since I have those conditions, like I can't work out, you guys. Like no matter how much I want to, no matter how slow I do it, when I work out, I start to bleed. Like every time and it just the cramps and it's hard and it slows me down it slows me down so bad like when i'm like filming these videos for you guys like it's so bad so that's why like i don't know i'm debating i'm probably gonna end up getting like a bbl in the future nothing too dramatic maybe just a, li a lipo or whatever I, I don't know what i'm gonna get but i want to get something where i'm not gonna worry for a while to have to work out because of my condition you know and I don't even care if in the future, like, I get pregnant and stuff and I lose the figure. That's fine. But I'm just, like, so worried because I can't work out because of my condition. <sighs> so, yeah, you guys, like, I'm planning on getting one of those in the future, probably. And I might even get my lips done. That's actually something I'm, like, considering. But we'll see, ladies. Okay, for my lashes, these are like some random ass lashes that I have here. <laughs> I don't have like, so I, I have this bad habit of putting lashes all over the place that I just don't even know which ones are which. <laughs> but I see I have them right here like with their pair and I just use them whenever I need them. Like whenever I don't want to use like, like the good ones, like the new ones. So, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply this lash. So this is a trick to applying lashes, you guys. Always have a mirror that's like facing, watch, let me show you. So this is a beat up mirror, it's ugly, I know. <laughs> so you always have to have a mirror down here so you can see like your eyelashes like this and that's going to help you apply your eyelash, hold on, let the glue get tacky. <laughs> that's going to help you apply your eyelash better. All right, now I just gotta wait for the glue to dry. But that is my trick to applying lashes and I love it because it works every time. See how this look is coming along? See how this look is actually coming along and looking very nice for Valentine's Day? <laughs> so let me just press on these babies so they can stick. Also, if you guys didn't know, I am about to launch my own eyelashes. This is my box. Let me zoom in. This is my box. It's super, super pretty, you guys. Oh, my God. And this is one of our eyelash styles. This one is in the style Milka. Ignore my Cheeto fingers. This is in the style Milka. And it's actually named after one of my favorite cousins. And, oh, you guys, I love this. Like, it's even, like, magnetic, like the box. So, like, it, it closes. And this is so cute because, like, even after you use the lashes, you can just take this thing out take this thing out from in here like the eyelashes and you can put stuff in here and it's cute because it's like fluffy oh i just love these boxes and i thought that you guys would love them too so if you haven't check out my website it's down below in the description and these will be launching on february 5th so perfect for valentine's day if you guys want to buy some for valentine's day get some for yourself for your girl for your friend get these they're gonna be so nice also don't forget my sponges too <laughs> so yeah ladies let me just apply my other little lash okay you guys so that eyelash is applied already there we go it's comfy <laughs> okay now after this i'm just gonna be applying i don't want to apply like any any mascara on the bottom of my eye Okay, and I just applied some eyeliner on my waterline, and this is a finishing look. What do you guys think for Valentine's Day? A perfect pink and nice color. Okay, and this is a nice pink color that I came up with with the Nikita Dragon palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if you guys want me to keep doing more of these makeup tutorials. I kind of enjoy them because I get to talk to you guys about random stuff. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, comment down below pink just for laughs. <laughs> comment pink and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a like, a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.